I'm going to this party. Those people, you have to have those around you to, to, to kind of convince the rest of the world that know what you're doing. So you need a, a really big, strong network. So are there quite a few of them, or is it? There's hundreds. Are you one? No, I'm very quiet, as you can see. Very yeah. So I don't say anything. But we have lots of good people that come to our events and enjoy it. And I think when you have a good experience in an event, you go away and come back and tell everyone else. If you have a bad experience, you probably tell more. But you have to work on the good experiences and make sure they, you know, they a smile. How do you think organisations like Urban Development help promote um, homegrown music in the UK? I mean, I'm still learning about kind of the work you guys do, but I mean, I'm really impressed with the, the whole setup and the structure and the organisation of the place. So, it's, I mean, it's good to have that kind of that that launch pad, that kind of that eye into something um, aspect with music because I mean I never had that growing up and I mean I wouldn't say no I think in fact it would have helped a lot of the decision making I made earlier on because me getting to where I've got to now it just part and parcel trial and error but part and parcel um, information kind of handed down to me from from olders, from respected industry heads, kind of giving me their insight in, as to what they did, what they didn't do, what they should have done, kind of thing. But I mean, if you had that on tap, like at things like what's going on today, I guess it will make people's paths in music a, a lot more easier. They, they could avoid the bumps in the road. Tell us a bit more about this female scan club. Okay, um, as I said, it's it based come from the lyrics of um, Bushkin's female skanka, Fletcher Um and basically we come up with the concepts of uh, a dance competition. So um, basically we have like between four and six contestants um, and then it gets cut down to a final so then a celebrity judge will decide who the winner is. Um, but it's, it's really fun. Have you ever taken part yourself? No. <laughs> no. I just do the background work. Definitely not. <laughs> so how do you find talent and um, people who are viable enough to perform on stage? Um, I mean, basically what we do is we have tried to get people to um, sign up before the actual night. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't really work like that. You have to wait till the night and sign the girls up on the night. And usually they've had like a few drinks to get a bit of Dutch courage. <laughs> So we kind of do it. Tell us a bit more about the Crazy Cousins initiative. Crazy Cousins 
well, Craig Cousins, they're the leaders in the house funky scene in the UK. But right now, we're trying to get broader sound to go all over the all over the country, all over the country, all over the world. Okay, how's that going then? It's just going very, very well. This year, in the studio, we have about eighty-five new tracks that nobody's ever heard before. We want to choose the best twelve, do an album, and blah blah blah, make it big happen. You mentioned there's so many, you know, funky's always evolving, and you said it's gone from grime from yeah. soul. What do you think the next trend is, or the next set? Tell the truth, I don't think there's no more next trend, next step, because right about now, Urban's going to the charts, so everybody's trying to think charts now, so nobody's thinking, I think they've got, they've got the grind, we've got the dust, they've got the jungle, we've got the, the, the garage, all the scenes, I think right about now, it's just about good music. But you come from a family which is really influenced by music, your mother worked with, you know, UB40, your dad was in a, a group, yeah, no music. Yeah, keyboard player. Um, how does that, do you have, do you feel extra pressure sort of living up to them and their achievements? Um, there's pressure on me wrong because my mum has high expectations from me. The first track I remember showing my mum, my mum ripped the part, said it was like weak, go and get some substance, go and get some confidence in it, spit in it. My mum kind of was a, was a you know, good critic, she got me to up my game a bit. And so, And then watching them in the studio, I kind of knew what sort of, what it took, you know, there's a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work. And so watching my parents in the studio was, it was definitely a big inspiration to what comes with the work you've got to put in to get where you've got to go. You recently started working with The Sunday Show um, and yeah. having a featured show. How is it sort of going on and like having live performances on stage compared to um, clips? It's totally different because if we mess up, we can yeah. just take it, start again, yes. you know, do that. Sunday Show's an experience, man. Like, shouts out to Marvin Harrison, man. It's a very... It's a great, you know, crowd, but it's a fiery furnace. We, you know, we do well. We go down and we get the last spot. You can go and die on that stage. So, you know what I mean? If you're an act, anyone. You get, do you know what I mean? You can anyone. get shot, literally. <laughs> Comedy. You could go on stage and think you're funny. And they could really like, affect Sunday you. Show. This is Sunday show, sir. Yeah. Hey, everyone. How are you doing? Woo! Do you know who I am? That's, That's what they do. Do you know who I am? Oh, God. Do you not know who I am? No. Okay. Sunday show. Make some noise, please. Yo, Sunday show, make some noise! That's it. That can happen. No, it could it could happen, but it didn't happen to it us. It didn't happen to us. Shout right. out to Marvin Harrison and Napa. Just took you for the wrong person. Yeah. How is it sort of um, having to adapt and being different characters and not letting it interfere with your life and, and yeah. going to do events? Well, with certain, it's nice now because I can go to certain areas now because they think I'm Shadrach, so I'm cool. I can go to any ends. He said that. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case I go to like, that. Call the gun show. You know what I mean? Why not? <laughs> KG, so hopefully I can get people calling me KG and not Shadrach or Duncan. Is it quite often that people mistake you then? For your yeah, mom? I get called Shadrach when I'm with my mum. Just <laughs> I was driving through Brixton and a couple of guys rode past on their motor and called me a Bendigo. So those nice. names are a bit strong. Even though those names, you know, that movement is officially over. Yeah. Stayed, so. Hopefully someone called me Face Off from Karen. Yeah. That's what I would like. Yeah. And even just aside from that name, when you invent new characters, what motivates you to change, to, to create a name that suits that character? Duncan, I think Duncan it just, it just has to sound, sound like funny. It has, it just if sounds... you're from the roads, you know you've been stopped by someone called Duncan. You know what I mean? Like, excuse me, you want to get a vehicle on the end of the night? Duncan, they just sound like a popular police officer. You know what I mean? Duncan, 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 they just sound like a popular police officer. Just doing my job. You know what I mean? That's it. Done, man. Just doing my job, though. That's what I'm saying. And the roads, cuz. That's what the roads out here doing comedy. You get me? I'm joking. To finish off, I yeah. hope you guys enjoyed the interview, but just That's to finish great. off, can I get to give a big shout out to Urban Vendor, Facebook camera at the time. Alright, and tight, thank you, and tight. Shout out to Brixton, and tight, 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 and tight,